slip road still looks shut from flooding last night. Yeah, the traffic on the M25 is quite heavy going other ways, so. Basically, this box isn't booked in. Surprise, surprise. So we're 204 mile away from the job. So you guys are a good luck charm, I think, for situations like this. Well, good morning. Just pulling off at the fuel pumps here in a nice wet and rainy well it's actually i don't think it's raining as such now it's just damp newark still trying to build air pressure it literally probably have done you know 200 feet to get onto fuel pumps we're still building up our air pressure this morning because it was well down last night it were it were red there were absolutely no air left in it so we've got a heavy load on at the minute heading down to london gateway this will be on this will be on the limit. It's what you want on a on a cold start morning, but oh well. Is what it is, isn't it? Can't help it. We're heading down the gateway. We've got an eight o'clock well, we've asked for an eight o'clock VBS, we haven't had all through. Um I'll phone them about half past six or something like that when I'm about an hour away. We're gonna be We're gonna be having a break when we get down there anyway. So um, we've got a two o'clock Whitwood at the minute. Uh, plans might change, we're not sure. Um, there's a possibility of it changing, but we'll find out. And we've got two o'clock Whitwood at some polymer place at the minute, so we're just straight back up. So we've got a lot of driving ahead of us this morning, and today that empty box, once we've tipped, is into Riley's at Doncaster. Slip road still looks shut from flooding last night. So yeah, we're into Riley's at Doncaster with the empty box. Um, we started at four o'clock this morning. It's just come up to 20 to five. So I'm not sure where we're gonna get parked tonight. Obviously it depends on what job we keep. If we keep the same job and go to, go to Whitwood, We've got Whitwood Truck Stop as a possibility to park in. Um, this is about, I've done this place a few times, we're going to, it's about about an hour tip. Um, you know, it's booked for two o'clock, but chances of us being there for two. A little bit slim, it depends a lot on traffic and whether we can actually make it in one hit, but I don't think we'll make it in one hit. I think we're going to be just short, frustratingly. I think we've got till seven. We probably won't make Riley's to get box off. So it's either looking Whitwood truck stop or backtracking to the lead yard, uh, depending on on um, on what the office want us to do. Really, on that one, could also run to Glues as well. It's only one junction down M62. So we've got a few options at the minute. If we do head to if we do head towards. So I'm surprised there. I'm surprised there's not a weight limit on this road. I think these. I think the services might have just been there before these houses were. So, well, what can they do about it? What can they do about it? Could be worse. We could be a V8 with big stacks on them, couldn't we? So, no bother. We're straight onto the A1 now. Straight down this pitch black road, and then flat out so 141 mile left to cover so let's get our toe down uh, we're making decent progress well good progress actually we've, we've not hit any traffic we've been flat out all the way hour and 18 minutes so far we're just coming down to Cambridge services we're still looking good for our VBS well when we get it through it's got us there at half seven at the minute so if we hit a bit of traffic, we might just go straight in on it if we can get a VBS through for 8 o'clock, but that remains to be seen, yet. Well, for now, we're keeping up good time. It's um, fairly quiet. 
we'll start building up a little bit on the M25 I think because it's going to be early morning you know it's just coming up to six o'clock at the minute but yeah we're making good time hopefully it does keep up it'd be nice it will be nice I'm just we're just hammering on the miles now but we'll get there we've got 75 left to cover 75 mile left well we're down at gateway still no bbs yet i have phoned the office and asked and um, they're still chasing it over at tilbury yard so we'll come here we'll get a break and we'll see what develops from there the traffic on the m25 is quite heavy going other ways so hopefully we'll miss a little bit of that but i'm just ready to stretch my legs as we come down to the christmas lights at london gateway so yeah we're getting to Hayako, get 45 in there or however long it takes and um, we'll find out what happens from there but hopefully we're not too long well we're still here at gateway at the minute we've been here just over an hour and 10 minutes at the moment waiting to basically this box isn't booked in surprise surprise nothing changes really does it so we're um, waiting for it to be booked in so that's why we've been waiting for a BBS for so long. They've been chasing it since yesterday. This job that we're doing at Whitwood for two o'clock is a 24 hour, they're open 24 hours. So they'll take it at any time in there. So that's always good, I suppose, because you know, we, we could be another couple of hours waiting here yet, uh, which is frustrating, but you know, what can we do? What can we do? So we just got to sit and wait and hope that it gets booked in at some point soon and we can get up to Whitwood comfortably in our time but if not it might have to go in, in the morning so we'll have to wait and see well we're getting a box well we've got our box on and we're just making our way out of London Gateway we are just just come up to 10 past 10 so they managed to get us a 10 o'clock BBS literally just after I did the last clip uh, my message to say that the box had been booked in and we were getting ready to go and they got us a 10 o'clock VBS so we've been off off and on that same pad so we're 204 mile away from the job currently got us there at half past two but we're not going to make it without a break so we're going to be it's going to be half three four o'clock before we're at the job so it's what it is in it we can't help it We've, um, we can only do what we can do. This tug's coming round. He's indicating. So yeah, we can only do what we can do on that front to, um, you know, he's got some weight on that. They're two loaded 20s. So yeah, we can only do what we can do regarding getting to the job. We're just gonna have to wing it, I think, on that. Uh, they should take it let's say it's 24 hours I've, i'm sure i've been in there late before as well and they were all right about it in there um we might make up a little bit of time maybe but we're still not making it in one hit we've got four hours 14 driving left of this stint and we're four hours 21 away i don't think we're going to make up that much time to be able to get up there comfortably without having a break so we'll get We'll get up the road, probably, make, probably get to Newark or something like that again. Get into the services, have 45 in there. You know, play it safe. So I, we might end up in the lead yard tonight because I don't think particularly we'll get into Whitwood Truck Stop. Won't make anywhere else, really, comfortably. So we might as well go park in, in the lead yard is what the plan of action is thinking at the moment but we'll we'll see when we get up there and i'll have a word with office and see what see what they suggest they might have thought something we've not so that's the plan at the minute so just have to crack on and eat up some miles now oh we're just on the a1 just got on it now we'll just come round the round the bend off the a14 and onto the a1 we're 119 miles away at the minute so 
so we're doing all good at the moment okay, we've got two hours 20 minutes driving left and we're two hours 21 away from the job so I'll probably just find a lay-by or something like that I think on the on the en route on the A1 and just get it in there for a break We've done five hours 15 driving for today so far it's been clear really that we're, that we're a big um, certainly a big ship that we're going all the way a big yacht I'll add some traffic behind it about five mile of few in traffic behind that when it were going other way and Swan needs to be other side it that Swan needs to get back a bit there didn't it it works side at road so uh, we're making good time we've um, ain't got any delays forecast at the minute but I imagine there will be some delay on the A1 at Darrington because the, some roadworks are there aren't they they're always always a delay there at the minute Oh, we'll get through it we'll battle through and get to the job and see what they have us from there I haven't heard any plans yet regarding what tomorrow is going to entail uh, I imagine they'll be coming through this afternoon but we shall see what happens but first we'll go find a lay by or somewhere to stop and have 45 minutes on route Oh, I found a lay-by and we're just just making our way out of it. We'll get out after this van here. There's a big gap behind and we're away. So we are 89 miles away from the job. So it's got us out 20 past 3 but it's not picked up the traffic yet at Darrington. So I imagine it's probably going to be closer to 4 o'clock. So we told them half 4 anyway earlier. So we'll uh, we'll leave it at that. Uh, we've got a job through for tomorrow. We are reloading this box in a shock horror. This shipper will never really reload it. But I need the fire extinguishers on this truck. I noticed when I was putting my stuff in yesterday. They need testing um, or inspecting and remarking up and that for it, well, this month. So the lad who's trained and qualified to do them is in the area tomorrow so we're meeting them at Doncaster tomorrow to get the fire extinguishers done on this truck so we've got a seven o'clock Doncaster reload with this so I think what we'll do is we'll tip this up with wood and probably go park in the lead yard tonight I think or maybe just with wood truck stop we'll see how we get on we'll see how we get on um, so that's the job at loading at Doncaster into freight on a Doncaster so we're not sure what the plan is going to be from there but we, um, we'll see it's Wednesday tomorrow so we started at 4 o'clock this morning so overtime starts in 27 minutes for us so if it is about 4 o'clock that we get there that's 12 hours for us probably about an hour to tip so that's going to be five o'clock. So that's 13 hours. I might, uh, we might see. We might. I might see what they say when I say I might run to Glues and park at Glues tonight at Ghoul. It's only a couple mile down road past M18. It misses all traffic in morning on, six, on A1 and that. Then, and um, we're uh, we're laughing. Then we know we'll get it. We'll know we'll get in. Hopefully it's decent in there as well so but we'll see we'll see how we get on you know we've got we've got some miles yet to cover and we'll see where we end up and we're just coming down now 300 yard marker coming up to get off at Whitwood we're on seven hours 38 driving at the moment we've had a, a long day at it but we're getting here just coming up to half past three currently so we're doing all right we've done all right really it's been quiet the a1 were quiet at, at Darrington as well so we can't grumble at that we certainly can't grumble at that we've, um, we've had a good run at it didn't have much traffic at all oh man I tell you what I'm ready for toilet though it's been a 
been one of them hour and 52 driving since we set off from our break so I'm certainly ready for it just come over here so I think I think it's a small yard in this so what I'll do is I'll get off for now that we've just got off I want to just met them bloody lights and um, pick you up when we're trying to get into this yard well in typical true fashion it's not a busy not a busy place in here tonight it's no one in so you guys are a good luck charm i think for situations like this in fact well, we could probably even blindside it on actually that's what we'll do we'll just blindside it on rather than spinning it the king maybe get a bit shouty if we spin it so we'll just reverse it straight back we'll get it round at this should do this fair, fair enough room usually there's arctics parked on all these bays so it makes it a lot harder luckily these cameras like i say we can pan them round for the for the blind side which does make it a lot easier to see probably need to just take a shunt but if I can even get camera to pan back round again I will take a shunt over I should have probably just spun it but oh well it is what it is isn't it it's what it is take it steady we'll take it steady we'll practice our blind side skills Not often you can just get a chance to practice them. Oh on. We we'll take a shunt and straighten up again, and then we're good to go. We are good to go. So, I'll, oh, here we go. Just an there's an Arctic just at the gate now that's coming in. So, we're, if we'd have waited a bit, if we'd have been any later, we'd have had a bit of a fun getting in. But oh well. Just wash this back, kink it over a bit. When the soft dot comes off. We hold it there. I'll go in and see them and see what they're saying here. Oh, and we're just getting out. Just like that. So we're just coming up to 10 to 5. Um, we are going to head to Glues and park up there tonight. Um, office of Astors to try and keep the yard a bit clear. Obviously, Royal Mail, if you've seen from the videos, Royal Mail have got a bit more of the yard now, and it's there's a few more trucks gone in, gone in there that are you know independently owned and whatnot um, and they've just it just makes it a bit tight so I thought well we might as well run it to glues and then we're a bit closer for the job in the morning then so you know every little helps doesn't it I could probably get into Whitwood but it's a pain getting out in the morning and it's always busy so this van we're just reversing then so it's always busy in there so we'll um, crack on to yeah, I'm just trying to get out of what this van's doing because I don't want to block it there we go he's gone yeah we crack on to glues we'll get in there we'll be there probably about half past five should have plenty of room to get in there then so we've got a bad tip in there really once once they started I know we got we got done fairly all right and um, helped another lad that came in to get on the bay and from there we were um, we were just sorted so I've noticed that one of the tires on this trailer seems a bit lower than the rest on the on the near side on the passenger side on the back of the trailer so we'll keep an eye on that we are empty for now so we, sh we should be all okay it did look a bit better I think it was the suspension were right down it might have just been leaning the back that way as well it just looked worse than it probably was so We'll keep an eye on it. 
and see what it is like when we get to glues and we'll go from there so we'll crack on towards glues and get parked up for the evening oh we're just at glues so it took us 24 minutes so it's not that bad it's not that bad we're just coming up the slip road i've had a i've had a look i can see you can obviously see it from the road the glues when you're coming up the slip road we will get in with ease straight out of the roundabout as well just yeah so we'll get in with ease in here we've got plenty of room luckily we ain't got soft dock as well so i was keen a trailer is for soft dock so we can easily maneuver a bit as well and no weight on so it's all good on that so i'll be ready for bed tonight i've had a eight hours 11 minute driving day so far so we've had a long day at it had a long day at it check that tire as well when we get parked up seems all right no one's been flashing so we should be um we should be good on that front hopefully should be good on that front let's see what we can get parked in here it's a bit cold and a bit slippy underfoot under under wheels as well i can feel it sliding a little bit at times that can pack it in slow it down a little bit I might even just drive into spaces in the middle to be honest just take up the next spot there that's one of them we just can't be bothered reversing there we go barrier up yeah just can't be bothered reversing so if we can get next to somebody in the middle we'll get in the middle oh, we'll easily get in the middle now yeah, we'll get next to this tanker here this is us done i've just been lazy now i can't be bothered reversing we ain't got a load on we'll get in line with the tanker maybe just straighten up a little bit just need to reverse then let's show we're clear at the back it should be sorted at that Side of that, I'll just go have a quick look and double check though. Yeah, we're all good at that. We're in, we've got plenty of room back there, so if someone can get in behind us easily. So, yeah, we've got seven o'clock Doncaster in the morning. It's probably gonna start, it's probably start at half five, I think. Start about half five, yeah, get out of here for about ten to six, something like that. It's gonna be half an hour to there so it gets us there about half six something like that so we're all good on that front so i'll get off and end this video and go walk over and go book in and get settled for the night we'll sleep tonight it's been a long one it's going to be it's 13 and a half hour day so steady away so i'll get off and i'll see you all in tomorrow's video